Hi students, in this video we are going to learn CBC class 10 arithmetic progression important question. Now look at the first question they have given us. In an AP, if SN is equal to 3N squared plus 5N and AK is 164 then find the value of K is our question. So then they have given us the format of SN. So from the SN we are able to find what is S1, S2 and S3. From that we need to find out what is A1, A2, A3 to make a AP. Then after that we can go for the K. First let us find the AP by using the SN format. So SN is equal to 3N squared plus 5N is given. Now if you substitute in the place of N is 1 it will become S1. S1 is equal to your value 3 into 1 squared plus 5 into 1. So 1 multiplication will give you the same number. So 3 plus 5 will give you 8. Now let's find S2. While substituting in the place of N is 2, it will give you S2. So substitute wherever N comes, you have to put the 2 now. Now 3 into 2 squared plus 5 into 2. So 2 squared is 4. 4 3s are 12 plus 5 2s are 10 which is equal to 22. Now S3. S3 value 3 into 3 squared. Wherever N comes, you put the 3. Plus 5 into 3. Now 3 squared 3. 3 is are 9. Square is this one. 3 squared is 9. 9 3 is are 27. Plus 5 3 is are 15. If you add these two. 30, 40, 42 is coming. Now we found out what is S1, S2 and S3. But this is not an AP. From this we are going to find out what is A1, A2, A3. The formula for an in terms of sn is sn minus sn minus 1. This is a formula for finding an from sn. Very simple. First we must know that s1 and a1 both are same. So s1 value will be taken as it is a1. So this 8 can be written as a1 also. Now we need to find out what is a2. Now a2 is equal to S2 minus S1. This is your formula. In the place of S2 we have to take 22. And minus S1 we have given us 8. So 22 minus 8 you should write. So if you are uh, subtract 22 minus 8 will give you 14. Next one A3. If you want to find A3. From S3 we have to subtract S2. Which is equal to S3 is 42. And your S2 is 22 we got. If you subtract 20 is coming that is your correct value. This is very easy. If you want to get the third number of the AP. From the sum of three numbers we can subtract the sum of first two number. That will lead the answer of term 3. So that is the formula we are using here. Now let us write the AP now. So AP is A1, A2 and A3 and so on. Now A1 we got it as S1. That is our 8 here. A1 is 8, so 8 comma, A2 is 14 and your A3 is 20. Now we form our AP. Now the first term will be taken as A, so 8 and difference is nothing but subtract the second term and the first term. That is A2 minus A1, so that is 14 minus 8, that will give you 6. Now we got what is our D also. Now in our question they have given us. AK is equal to 164. AK it's look like in the form of AN. Now we are going to apply the AN formula. Then we can apply what is we can find out what is a K value. So we know the basic formula AN equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now in the place of N we have given with the K. Now let's go for the K now. So A wherever N comes you put the K that's it. So AK is equal to A plus k minus 1 into d we have to take. Now substitute all the values we know. a k value is 164. You put 164. Equal to a value 8. Put the 8 here. k value we don't know. Let keep as it is. d value is 6. So substitute the 6. First the plus 8 we have to bring it to other side. So 164 minus 8 is equal to k minus 1 into 6. So if you subtract these two. That is 156. Now the multiplication 6 if come to this side that will become division. So which is equal to k minus 1. Now, now if I cancel by 6 table 6 2s are 12. Balance 3 so 36 6 are. 
So 26 is equal to k minus 1. If you bring that minus 1 to that side, that will become a plus 1. So 26 plus 1 is equal to k. That is 27 is equal to k. That is your correct answer. Find the k is our question. So k value is 27 is your correct answer. Now look at the next question. If Sn denotes the sum of first n terms of an AP, prove that S12 is equal to 3 times S8 minus S4 is our question. So Sn denotes sum of first n terms is mentioned. So Sn is equal to our basic formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is our basic formula. Now we are going to prove that S12 is equal to 3 times S8 minus S4. Four. So this is your uh, left side and this is our right side. So we are going to take the right hand side then we are going to solve. We are going to bring the left hand side value. So RHS we are going to take now. That is 3 times S8 minus S4 we are going to solve. Now in the place of Sn we are going to apply this formula. Now by looking at the 8, 8 is your n value now. Now it looks like Sn in the place of n is given as 8. Now the same formula, the n place alone, you put that 8, remaining element should come as it is. So 3 times S8 will be written as 8 by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So 8 is given, so 8 minus 1 will give you 7 times d. Minus S4, again n by 2, so 4 by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d, so n is 4, 4 minus 1 will give you 3d. So we have written this. Now let's solve this one. So 3 times. So 8 by 2 will give you 4 into 2a plus 7d. Here 2 times. So 2 times 2a plus 3d. And we can close this bracket. Now let's multiply inside. So 3, 4 2s are 8a plus 4 7s are 28d. And minus 2 2s are 4a plus into minus minus 3d. So we have written, now let's combine the a value and d value. Now 3 times 8a minus 4a is 4a. 28d minus 3d will give you. Children here uh, 2 2s are 4a is written. 3 2s are here actually 6d is there. So you have written wrongly that is 6d. So while you are writing you just uh, check it up before giving your paper. Now d 28d minus 6d from 28 if i subtract the 6 that will give you 22d now we are getting this from these two what is a common table means two table is common let us take the two outside now here outside we already have a 3 now 3 into 2 we have taken out so the remaining is 2a plus 11d now here 6 into 2a plus 11d is given now let us write 6 can be written as 12 by 2, 2a plus 11 can be written as 12 minus 1 into d. Now it look like n by 2, 2a plus n minus So we have replaced the 6 as 12 by 2 and we have replaced the 12 as 11 as 12 minus 1. Why we are doing this means because we need to show that s12 is equal to the final answer. I need to show that the final value should be the s12. So I know that this is a value of s12 only. So S12 I can write it now because S12 is 12 by 2, 2A plus 12 minus 1 in ready. We are getting it correctly. So this can be replaced as S12. So that is our LHS value. That, that's what we want to show actually. So we can complete it with hence proof. If you feel the video is useful to you, please uh, give a like and just share with your friends also. Subscribe our channel for more videos.